Drayden outside. Oh, uh oh. You see the text message? It's from Kanji. Hello, Senpai. Do you like movies? There's this new movie out called Da Chico uh, Story. Ah, oh. And I'm such a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're going to see it, would you let me know so I can come too? Alright, alright, alright. Sure. You can go see the movie with Kanji. We're not going to do that today. Not this episode. I'll be able to forget if I don't do this episode. <laughs> you realize I haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. No. How, how about no? Oh, wait. I got books. I can do books. Let's read a book. What do I got? Knowledge and expression. Knowledge. Oh, we already read that one. Uh, expression. Oh, this one's courage. Yeah, let's do this. Midterms are starting on Friday next week. Are you guys studying hard for, or st hardly studying? Hmm? How many times have I heard that? Ugh. Well, let's, let's get back to basics, uh, basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take note that Japan is in the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their, ma their maps in different places. Uh, I don't think... I'm not sure if my country centered their... I'm, I'm not sure if Canada centered their map on Canada. I'm pretty sure whenever it came to world maps, we usually just... I think we usually had the Atlantic Ocean centered. Is that with that? Either that or we had like the uh, European African area. Like that part of the map centered. I'm not sure. Uh, take note that Japan... Uh, other countries... Yeah, I read that. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Oh, let's see, Yamagi-san. No, I'd feel bad about that. So, Hanamurus. <laughs> what? It's like, what? <laughs> what? Why do you feel so bad about, uh, before asking Yukiko, but not me? I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer? It's not even on the map. Uh, if it's a world map, then it's showing not just Japan. But that, that really, it really depends then, wouldn't it? I feel like it, it would be the right edge, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm gonna guess the right edge. I don't know this one. Oh, you got it. I believe in you, really. Yes, in foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern aid, ed edge. Now, uh, now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East. Foreign maps are designed to be centered on the prime merid uh, meridian at zero degrees of, lo of longitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. I think that's like around the... I don't know where the zero degree is, but... Yeah. Oh, it's raining to get... Huh? Today? I can't speak. <laughs> okay, let's go, uh, let's go eat that beeple. Let's see, I, I got club. I don't have club for in either of them. I, okay. I might honestly, I might honestly, I'm not sure how long this game goes, but I feel like I kind of want to choose who I want to date on the 100th episode, but I don't know if I'm going to get to 100 episodes. I don't know how long this is going to be. I don't know how long this game is. <laughs> You know what would be great? If you could hit up people and go, Hey, yo, wanna hang out? Let's go hang out with Kanji in Okina City. It never rains there, so we're safe. Yeah. Let's go see that movie. Uh, let's go see the movie. Yep. Invite a friend to the movies. We're inviting Kanji. What's up? Hey, Senpai, what's up? The movies? The place in Okina, right? Yeah. Hey, yes, I want to go. It'll take a while since I'm, I'll be biking it, but I'll definitely be there before the movie starts. Okay, see ya. So, well, see you later. I'll see you there. So what up? Thanks for waiting. Huh? Let's go. You and Kanji take in a movie together. You were deeply moved by the tale of Dachiko, who waited unfairingly for his master to come home. Oh, is it that story? Oh, I've heard of that. You enjoyed watching the movie with the, uh, Kanji. Something inside of Kanji changed to response to the movie. Oh, it's Persona leveled up, alright. Did he level up? Whoa. Damn it, they got me. I couldn't help but cry. Movies about animals just aren't fair. 
Your eyes are too damn cute. That Dachiko. I want. I, I just want to hug him. Kanji seems to be really to have really liked the movie. You gotta do that. I'm glad again. I came along. Let's do this again. Decide to go home. Okay. A day. I guess well spent. And now the weather. The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Jeez, the fog will set in tonight. All right. Well, we saved Naoto, so it's not like you, uh, she's gonna die. I could say I could finally say she. <laughs> I think I've accidentally been saying she sometimes, because I I kind of knew Naoto was a trap already, but well, reverse trap technically. But it's midnight. I could finally actually say she, because it's 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 Naoto's a girl. The fog has set in. Noise is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Since Naoto has been uh, has been rescued, it seems the killer was thwarted this time. You all in the foggy shopping district. Damn it again! Yo, what if the killer is a dachi this whole time? <laughs> what if it's a dachi? That'd be amazing if it was a dachi. Oh, is it Naoto? Yep, there, there, he, uh, there she is. Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. Who just spilled the beat. Who did it? We're the only ones who knew, unless now it's always just... We're on your side, buck bucko. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. That aside... I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a dachi. I was just kidding. I mean, I was just going by, like, the, the kind of lanky expression. First, I heard the doorbell ring. Just oh, as alarm shit. bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. I felt a single impact which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. 
I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. Such a bizarre experience with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I mean, he's still, yeah, he's still guilty for killing at least that guy. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. It's a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way. Which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. In fact... Shit. The overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but... Isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? I forget she was drugged still. Um... Um... To tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. None of us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Of course. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Naoto joined the group. She'll definitely be a strong asset in solving the case. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses. Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow, what a nice girl. The true culprit is still at large. For now, you'll have to wait to, for them to make the next move. What is my, hold on, what is my social link with, uh, with Nanako? Uh... Real Taro, oh, Real Taro is in prison, okay. Nanako, seven. 
I may as well just get it up and finish um. it. Yes. I wanted to do something for this episode because a friend asked me to, but I don't think that's going to happen. Excuse me. <laughs> do you have time after school today? Did something happen? No. Rather, I'd like to have a doctor examine Teddy. A doctor? You mean a vet? The normal kind, actually. If you're free, I've scheduled a checkup for him after school today. A thorough physical examination might be a good first step in figuring out what Teddy is. And I thought it might be a good idea for the rest of us to get checkups as well. We should see if the fog over there or the power we've gained have had any negative effects on our health. Since you all have been active on the other side far longer than I have, you should definitely be examined. Negative effects? D don't drop scary stuff on us like it's nothing. But yeah, I never even thought about that. I've arranged to have Kanji-kun and Rise-san looked at as well. Wow, you're on the ball about all this. Are you sure you're not an adult? Her height's a big giveaway, though. Look at well, how tall you are. Doesn't, I'll see you all after school. You're an adult or not. You'll be going to the hospital after school at Naoto's recommendation. God damn it, I was gonna go on a date. Or something? Probably not. I was, I was gonna probably just try to get uh, Risei's social link up again, but now we have to go to the hospital. That was just an ordinary checkup. Huh, I was kind of looking forward to getting into some gigantic machine and being spun around. What? Was there really a point to this? The doctors look confused too. Oh, they're back. I'm very sorry for the wait. I'm very sorry for the wait. So did they find out anything about Teddy? <sighs> they did indeed. They found out that they can't tell anything about him. I even had them take an x-ray, but nothing came up on it. No matter how many times they tried, it would always be too blurry to read. A visual examination and standard palpations indicated that he seems perfectly normal. Since the machine could be malfunctioning, they told me to try another hospital if we're still worried about him. I felt bad for making them go through all this. So he is different. Oh my, what should I do? They took a look at everything inside me. She just said they couldn't see anything on the x-ray, you dork. But at least they didn't find anything wrong with them, right? Man, we know as much about Teddy as we do those personas and shadows. Oh yeah, I tried looking them up at the library and on the net. Persona means something like another personality. And I think they listed shadow under the related terms. Shadows are shadows. I think there's something that comes out of people. Um, I can't really explain. I performed my own research after the incident. Persona and shadow are common psychological terms. Of course, the ones we are familiar with don't quite fit those definitions. This is what was written in an unofficial project document that I happened to come across. A shadow is suppressed power, and when controlled by one's ego, it becomes a persona. It becomes a persona? What does that mean? They're, they're basically the same thing? Well, then again, all those shadows we beat the shit out of did turn into personas. Who cares about the details? It doesn't matter what they are. If they get in our way, I'll crush them. Still, I couldn't find any information on how they're related to the other world. <sighs> There's so much stuff about us that we don't have a clue about. There's some things we do know, though. Mm-hmm. I got a bunch of awesome data with me. It's kind of embarrassing that I'm the only one who had personal details shown to the world, so... Ta-da! Nowadays, information wants to be free. Therefore, I'll break the ice by announcing the results of everyone's physical exams. What? No, you won't! Give them to me now! Ooh! First place in the shortest legs division is... Huh, who would have guessed? It's not me, is it? Hey, what kind of things did they examine anyway? 
Look, if you're gonna blab at all, you might as well tell us the girl's measurements. Shut the fuck up, dude. Oh my goodness. Why are you... Why? What? Are you a complete nutter moron? Sure, go right ahead. My profile's been public knowledge for ages. Oh, but my bus size is two centimeters smaller than they print. My agency insisted. No! Don't say mine! Aw, I bet guys won't care what size you are, senpai. And having modestly sized breasts like yours would definitely make it easier to wear a kimono. What? Oh yeah, Naoto-kun's in here too, huh? Um, let's see. Naoto-kun's is... Huh? Is this for real? Wait, isn't this measured wrong? Uh, anyways... The important thing is that according to the examination results, nothing's wrong with our health. So we won't be needing these anymore. I'm going to go shred them. Uh, well, thank goodness everyone's healthy. Y you're right. Let's go home. <laughs> After all that, they found out nothing about me. I wonder what I really am. Find out together, bucko. Yeah. As long Thanks, as you don't sensei. do weird shit with, with my girls, you know? Wait, the, what? That was a social link up? That was the most random social link up. It's like, hey, guess what? Here's a rank up with Diddy. Maricunda? I can't remember what Maricunda does. Hey! If you don't hurry, we're gonna leave you guys behind! You're back. Midterns start next Friday. Study? Do I need to study? My, my, my stats is like max on brainage, you know? I mean, I definitely will take the opportunity to, to study with others. Just usually one person, but... Hey, one, what? There's a piece of shortcake covered with a huge blob of whipped cream. Probably shouldn't eat it. I feel like that with how much whipped cream is on there, probably not Nanako's, but I don't know. Let's, what, let's go see who's outside. Hey, Yukiko, huh? Is it Yukiko's ready to level up, though? Uh, I'll make. I'll just make sure. Hey. Oh, good evening. It's a fine night. I'm on my way back to make from making a delivery. It was a very sudden request, but I finished it faster than I expected to, so I was taking a short break. Sure. <laughs> okay, I wanted to chat with you too. Hey. That reminds me, Halloween is this month. There's been some talk at, at the end about doing something for it, though we're at the Hot Springs Inn, so we can't do anything too extravagant. Extravagant. Do you have any suggestions? Uh... Let's prepare pumpkin dishes. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, pumpkin uh, is a must for Halloween. I wonder if, it, uh, if I should consult our head chef about an entire pumpkin meal. Oh, but then again, some people don't like pumpkin, so it'd be better if they were given a choice. I'll, th uh, I'll take a kid. Uh, eh. When I tell them my ideas, they always get shot down. I don't understand why. You enjoyed your idle chat with Yukiko. All right. Yeah, so I was already ready huh? to go, go up by one stage. All right. All right, here. I want you to have Minion this. Fan. This is a gift we received. If you don't mind, I'd like to share it with you. Well, be careful on your way home. Good night. I should probably rank up Yukiko one more time. I think I can go to eight safely. <sighs> Good morning, Sam. Oh, Naoto, okay. Exams start next Friday, but I was, uh, I'm just not in the mood for schoolwork. The true killer is someone else. We're, on, we're the only ones who know that. If we don't act, the case will grind to a halt. Tests are important too. I'm not saying they aren't, I'm feeling anxious. We're the only ones with the ability to solve this case, and yet we have no way to act. 
Anyway, we can only wait for the culprit to make his next move. We must not forget to check the midnight channel too. This is a crucial moment. Who the fuck could be the next person? I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly, I thought now, I thought now, so it was like just throwing yourself into the TV to figure out that the TV existed. I didn't know there was still gonna be a killer afterwards. <laughs> There's more game. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Guess what? We're going to have exams at the end of the week. I hope that nobody in here is being an ostrich and goofing around without doing any studying. Why did I say ostrich? Because it's a common metaphor for someone who avoids inconvenient truths. It comes from the common mistake belief, uh, mistaken belief that ostriches bury their heads in the sand in the face of oncoming danger. To feel safe, just because you can't see the problem, a sure sign of escaping from reality. Don't be like a fake ostrich. There's another kind of bird though that has a cowardly connotation in English. Lay it to me. A lazy connotation? Uh, be brave. Tell me what bird's name means coward in English. Uh, I would say probably a chicken or a crow. I feel like a crow would be more, wouldn't it be more cowardly? Oh wait, no, chicken, it's chicken. <laughs> He gave the, uh, so I don't know why I, my brain kind of like, it wasn't working and then it was like, oh, right. <laughs> I had to, I had to think about it being chicken. I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, we use chicken to describe someone who's scared or cowardly. <laughs> All right, that's correct. Chicken is the word for coward in English. There are many theories as to why you know you how you get goosebumps when you're scared, right? It looks like a de uh, the, fe the feathered chicken skin. Wait, then why are they called goosebumps and not chicken bumps? It doesn't matter. The point is, you need to face reality and boldly prepare your uh, for your your tests next week. Cool. But I really don't need more knowledge. <laughs> Whoa! It's freezing. Why are we getting together on the roof on a day like this? Yeah. What's this urgent business about, Yosuke Senpai? Seriously, I was busy handing out flyers at Juness. How did you even get here without being noticed in your? Costume. Hey, I saw you hitting on girls just outside the school gate. Was there some kind of progress in the case? Well, I, feel like I need you guys. You have to help me. You're the only ones I can rely on. Can you please keep this weekend open? This weekend? Does this have anything to do with that event at the Inaba police station that's been canceled? What are you talking about? The idol, Konami Mashita, was scheduled to be the honorary chief this Sunday. Oh my gosh! The famous Konami is coming all the way out to the boonies! So she's taking on jobs like that already. I have been seeing a lot of her on TV lately. I didn't know she belonged to the same agency as you, Risei-chan. I mean, if she's coming to Inaba now, the agency's obviously trying to use all the fuss about me to their favor. So what's the big deal about that being canceled, Yosuke-senpai? There was going to be a big sale at Juness to take advantage of the event, but now it's down the tubes! It's not a joke! The police took forever to decide on canceling the event. My dad's really in a fix now. He worked so hard to put this whole thing together, and I can't stand to see him like this. I can't just let it go. I heard that the police couldn't prepare for the event because I had gone missing. I'm sorry. This is my fault. No, it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. But yeah, it does seem like that's what happened. Okay, so you called us up here. What do you want us to do about it? From the way it sounds, I gotta say, I don't think we can be much help. I want everyone to help me with a bunch of different tasks. Um, Risa-san, well, if you could, you know, do an event at Juness. You want me to substitute for Konami? So there's no way? <sighs> Is it really that bad? I don't know. I may be his son, but I'm still only a part-timer. If that happens, I might have to transfer schools again. I think my button's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Seriously, what am I gonna do if that happens? It's a brand new controller. Why is it double tapping? Singing and handshakes only. No autographs and nothing that I can't do as a high school student. Otherwise, I'll get in trouble. And I'll only do it if you all get on stage with me. What? Wait! I'm no idol! 
It would be troublesome if people came to try to recruit me to be an idol. Me too. I already have an exclusive contract with Juness. I don't think you guys are worrying about the right things here. But if you're gonna sing, what are we supposed to do on stage? I need a band, of course. I'll make this very clear. I can't use pre-recorded tracks. Whoa, whoa, there's no way we can pull off something like that. I have some experience playing the keyboard. My grandfather suggested that I take piano lessons when I was younger. I have one that I can bring as well. You're up for this? This incident is a result of my actions, after all. I will do whatever I can to help. Naoto, thanks. If it's music you need, I have a guitar. I've never really played it, though. Oh, wait, I accidentally bought a bass once. I think it's in storage. How do you accidentally buy something like that? I bet you just thought it was another guitar. Hmm. I should have some kind of musical instrument at my place for dinner parties and such. Some kind of instrument? Oh, boy. Then it's decided. I'll look for a song I can sing that can use a band arrangement. You guys get instruments and find a place to practice. Got it. Try to pick an easy one, okay? All right. Now that this is happening, I'm getting fired up about it. Let's go ask if we can borrow the music room at school. What am I supposed to do? I swear, I swear if this turns into a rhythm game, I'm going to so be upset. So what are we going to do with these? Wait. Wait, if you went to the music club, I wonder if you... I wonder if there's something about this situation. Maybe your friend would get involved. Ooh, I, I got shit. Now I really want to know if, if they get involved or not in this. Because, <laughs> like, there you chose the drama club or the music club, and then basketball club or, or soccer club. Oh, football club, but yeah. What are you going to... Oh, yeah. I just grabbed whatever I could find that wasn't being used by the symphonic band. What is that? It's a gong. A gong. <laughs> well, duh. I'm pretty sure he meant to ask, what is that doing here? I thought Chie might want to play that. You know, it sounds kind of Chinese-ish. <sighs> um, I don't think that's going to really matter in this case. Yosuke, try holding these! Huh? I see. Yeah, you do look like that when you're fighting. Try summoning your persona while you're holding those. All right. Persona! Wait, I can't summon it here. I'll choose this then. <laughs> look, look! Isn't this like my fan? I think she's convinced we're playing for a dinner party at the inn. Come on, we need stuff like guitars instead of little backup instruments like these. Hey, I'll play the guitar. Why don't you take the bass? I can at least teach you a little bit. Don't arrest... <laughs> don't arrest... Uh, sure, leave it to me, yeah. Wait, do you already know how to play the bass? Because that would be awesome! Actually, I know next to nothing about it. Way to step up, partner! But Well then, since you two and Natsukun have decided what to play, let's put Kanji on drums. Hey, why don't I get to pick? If you're up front, it'll look like a metal band. I think you'd be good at the drums. You're always hitting and stomping on things, after all. How does that make any sense? <laughs> then I will take over all the charming percussion accoutrement! Hey, baby. I lay down the passionate beats that flow from my soul. Oh, someone needs to put this bear down. Uh, so that leaves Yukiko and me? You two. Um, how about the chorus? There is a part for that. Singing? No, 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 can do. We'll hold something. Let's see, what looks easy? Oh no. Oh, doesn't this at least look like a band? If this turned into a rhythm game, I'd be so <laughs> angry. 
I'm not. I, I. Well, I'm not bad at rhythm games. So just don't play the games. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad at all. It's not doing anything. Is this thing broken? I'm blowing, but the air goes right through. That's how it is for everyone when they start out. Anyway, we don't have much time, so let's start practicing. What's with all the tadpoles on this paper? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read music. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have to transfer schools after all. Why would you need to... Wait, I can't remember why you need to transfer schools for not for his dad... Not having an event at its Juness. Not practice on your own until it gets dark. You decide to meet again tomorrow. Ah, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, welcome back. All right, I'm gonna stop here though because I've been going on a little too long. I tried to, I tried to do something fun, but then the game was like, guess what? He's a bunch of plot stuff. You get to deal with this now. So I'm sorry, I couldn't do anything special for episode 69. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one!